This is in continuation of the, my previous lecture on machine tool and its feature. The speed drive is of the machine tool is the more, one of the most important part because, because we remove material from the blank and there is a relative motion between the tool and job and the material is removed in the form of chip. So the, the spindle speed is very important where the jaw holding device is there and the cutter or the cutter is being fixed there. So this speed drive of the spindle is transferred, the speed is transferred from the main drive system and the motor is being used, induction motor is being used to provide the rotary motion of the input and it has been transferred to the spindle through different mechanisms, through different mechanisms and this speeds the the transfer mechanism may be either step drive or maybe stepless drive. There are two types of drives are there, the step drive and stepless drive. Under step drive, there is a cone pulley, either cone pulley or gear system is there. A stepless drive is either electrical motor, DC motor or the mechanical friction disc or the PIV drive. PIV is the positive infinitely variable drive. These are very cumbersome drive mechanisms, but we the, these are the certain advantages of stepless drive and certain advantage of state drive. So why the drive system and different speed system is required? Well now, now I am coming to the point that the different speeds are there. The supply supply speed is or supply RPM is 1440 and that is given by the induction motor. Induction motor is supposed to be the most robust motor that is why it is being used for all machine tools. And this, but the difficulty of the induction motor that it is very difficult, it is very difficult of, difficult to control the speed of the induction motor. That is why there is a need for different speeds and the speed not only for the speed of the, uh, the spindle but also the feed of the feed of the tool or there is a speed feed combination as there is a relative motion between job and tool. In case of lathe the job is fixed on the chuck and this spindle speed it is in the chuck and there is a linear motion of the tool and tool is being fixed on the tool post and tool post is being carried by the carriage. So this linearity or the relative motion is being always maintained in this machine tool. And in fact there are different speeds. Now why there is different speed requirement? The speed requirement is because due to the different cutting conditions of the machine tool. In case of different operations like uh, thread cutting operation, turning, facing, drilling, all operations in the machine tool. The peripheral speed requirement is different for different operations. That is the condition of machining where we cannot have any control on it. So the machine tool requires a particular peripheral speed for a particular operation. And this in order to achieve this peripheral speed, we need to either step up or step down the speeds from the original drive or the original power or the speed achieved from the input sub source. So this drive or the, the steps and stepless drive are the different drive systems installed in the machine tool in order to achieve the desired peripheral speed of the job or the peripheral speed of the tool. Now this step drive, step drive is normally achieved. Say for example the different speeds being, by the different speeds being, as I told you already, already that uh, say for example in a turning operation we have a certain peripheral speed in the lathe, while in the thread cutting the peripheral speed is much reduced because of the requirement of the operation. So this reduced speed being achieved by the step drive system. Normally in machine tool 
the cheaper machines will have a cone pulley drive. This cone pulley you have a, there are different, different types of machine. There are costly machine, cheaper machine. Cheaper machine have cone pulley drive. There is a not much of a flexibility of the number of speeds variety. Here there are three speeds. In cone pulley there are three speeds we can achieve. If there is a back gear system is there, there are double, the six speeds can be achieved from the cone pulley drive. In case of gear system, you can have 6 speed, 9 speed, 12 speed, speed, 18 speed, depending on the your gearing arrangement. But why do you need 6 speed, eight, 9 speed, 12 speed, 18 speed? Because if you have more speeds, if you have more speeds range, then you, have a, you can have a flexibility or the better metal cutting operations for different different uh, operations like uh, um, uh, threading, turning and for different uh, tooling purpose, for different tools, say for example for we can have a high speed tool, the high speed steel where the surface finish or the surface peripheral speed requirement is low, whereas if it's a carbide tool, the peripheral requirement is high. In case of CBN tool, QB bottom nitride, then the peripheral speed requirement is further high. So this higher speed can be achieved with a gearing arrangement. That cannot be done by cone pulley. Now there is a term called the speed losses. The difference between step pulley and stepless pulley that here we have in the stepless drive there are different systems are there. Here the, uh, the speed can be achieved. Here the step, step drive have different step, stepping in the speeds like your uh, staircase. With the upper, upper floor of the house, we have different stair, staircase like the step. So you have to have a different stepping. But in case of step is that there is no stepping at all. We can have infinite variability. And this infinitely speed drive, when there is an infinitely speed variability, which can be achieved, say for electrical system, DC motor can have speed control, easier speed control. We have achieved by infinitely variable speed by the DC motor drive. And here the speed losses are, there is no least speed loss. When you can achieve uh, various speeds, the speed losses are less. I will define what is speed loss. Speed loss is the difference in value of the speeds, the difference of the uh, uh, theoretical speed obtained from the tool life consideration minus the actual speed set in the machine. So there is a difference, the theoretical speed and the actual speed we achieve in the machine are different. And this difference is significant when there is a cone pulley drive. When there is a cone pulley drive, this is significant because the number of steps are less. So you can never match the actual theoretical speed with the cone pulley speed. In gear, when the number of speeds are more, the speed losses are less. When the step drive, when the gear, when the gearing system, and the uh, uh, instead of six, if you have nine, the speed losses is less. Instead of nine, if you have twelve or eighteen, the speed speed losses is further reduced. So this difference is very important. When there is speed loss, there is a there is a production loss. This we can be this can be eliminated with the stepless drive, but the stepless drive is very difficult because it's more cumbersome. Electrical DC motor have infinitely variability in speed. This infinitely variability of DC motor drive it by ward leonard method is a very cumbersome process of electrical control. And in case of mechanical drive, there is a friction disc there or PIV drive. This is a mechanical system. We will discuss in detail. Here, in all these cases, the speed losses is negligible. So theoretically speaking, this is better than this. But in practically, in a machine tool structure, in the structure of the machine tool, the gearbox and the gear, this is achieved by gear system or the cone pulley system is installed in the uh, head stock where the uh, from power comes from the motor to the head stock or the driving system. So that part is very important. If you have a, a PIV gear or electrical drive, that will be very cumbersome. It's a big area which is prohibited. In fact, the, our cost structure doesn't allow us to do that. So that is the advantage of step drive over the stepless drive. Whereas in the stepless drive, the speed losses, virtually we can eliminate the speed losses. 
and speed loss is very important as as i told you that speed losses causes the production losses <coughs> because we can never achieve the actual speed required on the consideration of the tool life so these are the area and the speed drive is very important in the that it is not the speed of the tool it is not speed of the spindle it is the we have a gearing arrangement with the speed to feed system so there is a feed mechanism here we entirely we call the kinematics structure we call the kinematic structure of the system depends on the speed and feed drive of the mechanism how how detailed we can analyze analyze it we will have a diagram here that is given in the textbook and that if you can refer to the textbook you will find how the it, the mechanism comes from how how the uh, from the speed or the spindle speed is being transferred or the transmitted to the feed mechanism <coughs>